What's up outdoorsman, Greg here, and today we're talking about unconventional layering items for your hunting setup. A lot of people get caught up in having hunting specific items for their kit. Well, one area where you don't really have to do that, and in a lot of ways there are better ways to do it than with, with items specifically from hunting gear companies, is in your layering system. So I'm gonna go over three pieces that I use in my hunting system that are fantastic, and in my opinion, better than what you can get from a lot of the hunting companies. First of all, this is a down beanie from Black Rock Gear, blackrockgear.com. I have used this hat for two years. Down insulated, coyote brown, it is amazing and there is no beanie warmer than this uh if it's extreme cold this thing is awesome and the beautiful part it rolls up to absolutely nothing and it weighs nothing i haven't weighed it but maybe an ounce i mean it's absolutely nothing so a lot of the beanies that you wear are made of fleece and whatnot and they're quite a bit heavier um, and they definitely don't pack down like that. Now you may say, what does it matter if it's an ounce or four ounces? Well, ounces add up to pounds and the more efficient you can be in your setup, the further you're gonna go, the less fatigued you're gonna be. There's lots of reasons why you should always consider weight when you're, when you're looking at hunting gear. Um, Cause what if you took this to, you know, on an elk hunt or something and you, you're trying to save as much weight as you can off your, off your shoulders for when you're lugging it through the mountains. Count ounces and you'll save pounds. That's the way it works. So I like ultralight items whenever I can. No, that's not a ball, Nelly. Stay away. So that, so that brings me to my second piece. It is an unconventional piece, but that I love for hunting. I've had this, this down sweater for years. See, I got, I've duct taped many holes from many campfires over the years where I've got stains on it. I have used the crap out of this thing. This is a stoic down sweater. It is, uh, it is 850 fill power down. Now, if you don't know about down, the higher the fill power, the warmer the, uh, the garment will be and the less it will weigh. So you can even get up to thousand fill power down. And they even have down now that is hydrophobic down, which is water resistant down. This is, pretty old this is probably at least seven or eight years old so it doesn't have that but 8 850 is, is pretty high I would recommend as high as you can go if I upgrade this piece I'll probably go to 9 or 950 fill power down but the beautiful part about this thing is it 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 compresses down to the size of a softball I mean it's itty bitty it actually has a pocket you can fold it into to get it really really tiny but the the warmth to weight ratio for down is absolutely unbeatable. There's no synthetic insulation out there has near the functionality of a down garment. Downside to down is it doesn't do well in water. So I always use this as an interior layer, uh, either my first or second layer underneath my outer garments. But the beautiful thing is, is you don't pay a weight penalty. You don't pay a bulk penalty. When you layer up with down, you don't have to worry about, you know, is the, is the garment gonna get in my way when I'm drawing my bow? Am I gonna feel like the, the Michelin man all puffed up? This kind of stuff solves that. So I love pieces like this. And finally, the third unconventional piece that I like to use, this is a heated vest by Volt. There are lots of companies that make this. This was one of the most inexpensive pieces that I could find, but it, it has zero insulation. It's just a nylon sleeve. So the way I wear this is I put on my base layer first and then I put this heated vest on second. It will last, I have two batteries that they fit right here in this little pocket. There's two batteries in there and it will last about uh, six to eight hours on both batteries on medium or high heat with, I've got two of those little batteries. The way I like to layer this thing, like I said, first layer is my base layer. This is my second layer. And then if it's really, really cold, I'll throw this down insulator on top. So now you've got this electric vest making all this heat, and then you've got the world's greatest insulator in down right on top of it. So you're not gonna lose any of that heat. You don't have to wear a bunch of bulky layers anymore. If you're smart about how you layer with stuff like down and maybe some technology like this, you can really do colder temperatures without having to get super bulky, which I hate. And you also save weight in your pack because you're not carrying those, those big layers in. You can, you can do much more minimalistic stuff and actually be warm. 
Think outside the box whenever you're looking at your layering garments. There's lots of places you can find this stuff used. You can get really great deals on mountain climbing stuff. This is where most of this stuff comes from. It's from the mountain climbing industry. So look into places like that, look in classified ads, and look for, for garments like this, and you'll be a more efficient and a better hunter.